Ladies and gentlemen, chosen of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, strong style, cinephile. So a couple hours ago, we got a teaser of sorts for a handful of DC movies that are coming to theaters this year. So let's geek about it for a scant few minutes. Now the teaser was just a minute long and just had some shots we've seen before of things like the Batman and some other shots we have not seen before of the uh, Black Adam movie, Aquaman and uh, Flash, which it's got Ezra Miller, so yay, I guess. What I was most interested in was the shots of Black Adam, and we've seen uh, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, in the little preview that they had at Fandom of him coming out of the, the uh, Black Adam coming out of the tomb and all that kind of stuff, but of course, my interest is in the JSA. I am a huge Justice Society of America fanboy, and I was curious about them knowing that they were going to be in the movie. We see a shot of Pierce Brosnan as Dr. Fate, we see Cyclone, we see Adam Smasher, just giant Adam Smasher. We see Aldous Hodge, who I'm a huge fan of from Leverage. Some other projects of his as Hawkman, just a good shot of him just throwing out those wings. I was kind of just apprehensive about Aldous being Hawkman in this, but I think he can I think he can rock and just seeing him on that. It was definitely a good good look. Everybody looks good from JSA. My concern is just what's the involvement? What's the interaction going to be between Black Adam and the JSA. I'm assuming Black Adam's gonna wanna wreak some havoc, get some vengeance, and the JSA is gonna stand in his way, try to talk him down. Of course, it's gonna get physical, but is it just, are they going to be the JSA, like the premier supergroup of DC Comics? Like the premier golden age type of supergroup of DC Comics, the one that the Justice League looks up to and other characters look, looked up to? Or are they just going to be basically jobbers for Black Adam? That's my fear. We don't know how it's going to go, but I'm kind of wondering just what the, where's the balance going to be in that? Remains to be seen how it all plays out. I'm curious. I'll be there because more than just The Rock, and again, I go back to I've wondered whether or not, on the one hand, if we needed a Black Adam movie, and as long as it was in developmental hell, but on the other hand, he's uh, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, is a testament to... Uh, just uh, the grind and the belief and uh, the love of something that you want to create and to make happen. And he took all these years and he took all this time and money and blood, sweat and tears and energy into this thing to make it happen. He would not stop until it, would, it happened. So from, from that, just as, as a guy, as a creator who has a multitude of projects that have, some have turned out good, some have turned out terrible, some have just not gotten out of the starting gate, some have like fizzled out in the middle, so all manner of success and defeats. He stands to me as somebody to respect, admire, and model yourself after because he stuck to it, and here we are about to have a Black Adam movie, you know? So I look at him as a uh, as an inspiration, as just a, a push to myself to just kind of just get off my butt and not allow the detractors and the naysayers, my own just you know, negative feelings about stuff that I'm trying to make happen. Just, I need to push that aside and just power through because you push hard enough, it can happen. And Black Adam is a sterling example of that. So in that vein, definitely like the movie. I'm interested in seeing just how it all plays out. The Flash, we know Flash is gonna be Flash Flashpoint. We heard Michael Keaton's voice in the previous teaser. We know he's gonna be in it. We know Flash is gonna go to different multiverse, you know, different Earths different times, that sort of thing. How that's gonna shake up, is it gonna revamp the DCEU? Is it gonna take us away from the Snyder stuff and take us somewhere better? Is Michael Keaton's presence gonna finally get us a live action Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond? Oh, please, just let that happen. Remains to be seen. Again, I'm not cool with Ezra Miller being the Flash, but it, you know, whatever, it is what it is, just what we gotta deal with. Aquaman, we just saw a couple shots of him, we saw the it's like a blue or black suit that he's gonna be in, plus a shot of him underwater on the throne. Remains to be seen, kind of where he goes in the second movie, where Black Manta's gonna come in. And of course, we saw some stuff from the Batman, which, Batman, it's gonna be apparently a super long movie. Remains to be seen how the dude from Twilight's gonna fare as Batman. I'm mildly curious. I, don't, I won't rush out to see it in the theaters, I guess, probably not, because it's more Batman. I'm just tired of Batman, so. But it was cool of them to give us this teaser to kind of give us some some stuff to get excited about, some stuff to get enthused about. And 
uh, for their sake to kind of get people, because these are only in theaters, to get people out of their houses, ideally, and into the theaters. And the movie's making more money, and the box office is getting back to kind of where it was. Remains to be seen if that happens. So, anyway, those are some of my thoughts on it, scattered as they often are. But if you guys out there think, let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. Talk to me there. Talk to me here. Until next time, let us geek.